Hello everyone, my name is Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how you can bypass HCAPTCHA in Puppeteer using a Puppeteer plugin called Puppeteer Extra Plugin ReCAPTCHA. As the title of the plugin says, it solves ReCAPTCHA, but if we scroll down, you will see that it also solves HCAPTCHAs since the version 3.3. So yeah, now we can also solve HCAPTCHA. Now, I have made another video on this plugin as well. But in that video, my example was to solve ReCAPTCHAs. But in this video, we will do almost the same thing, but we will use HCAPTCHA instead of ReCAPTCHA. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, let me scroll down. And what we will go ahead and do is first of all create a new node.js project and copy paste this example right here by the way i'll have the link down in the description so you can click it and you'll be redirected to this page so let's go ahead and do that so first create a new folder and we will open terminal by clicking up here and typing cmd it will open terminal in this location so this is a quick trick you can use and we will do npm init and then dash y so it fills everything up automatically and then we will do code dot which will open this folder in vs code now let's create a new file called index.js and here we will have our public tier example and before we move any further let's go back in the documentation and as you see, instead of Puppeteer, it uses Puppeteer Extra. So it's basically Puppeteer with some extra options. Like, for example, with this Puppeteer Extra, you can use plugins, for example. Because we have the ReCAPTCHA plugin, while we have plugins like Stealth. So what we will do now is copy this example. But first, we need to replace this link right here. And we will use an H capture link. So let's go ahead and find one. So there we go. Quickly by searching on Google, I typed H capture demo, and here is a demo we can use. So let me copy the link, and we will go here. And I guess I'll just click submit. But let's let's test it first manually to make sure what happens. So I solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, and now we click Submit. And whenever we do that automatically, we should see this response. So let's type Try Again. And let's get the selector for the Submit button, which is if we do here. So to find the selector for any element on a website, what you can do is open Console, and then go to Elements, then click this button right here hover over the element and click on it and click on the element that has the blue background that means it's selected so right click copy and then copy selector and this is a quick trick you can use to find any selector for any element in a website so let's do that and there we go that's basically it now, I don't want to take a screenshot, neither I want to close the browser. What I want to do is, first of all, from headless true, we will do false, so we can see what's going on, so we make, so we make sure it works. Something I want to mention is that this plugin is free to use, but the, but the provider, which basically solves your HCAPTCHA, is not free but it's pretty cheap so let me show you the provider so the provider is 2captcha.com which i'll have a link down in the description and i would really appreciate if you sign up from there as it is an affiliate link so this is to capture and it doesn't cost 0 0.5 it's actually three three dollars per 1000 sold captures so if, if you use the this method right here, the solve recaptures, 
1000 times then you will be charged about three dollars of course that depends but it's about that three dollars so yeah sign up through the link or if you have already signed up then sign into your account scroll down and you should find your api key so click copy and then go back to to our code and instead of this token right here put your api key so here is where you want to put your api key which i'll put in a bit so let's see yeah that's actually it we don't have to do anything else so that's it so let's open terminal new terminal and then let's do node index.js and of course we have to install puppeteer and puppeteer extra so let's do mpmi puppeteer actually i think just by downloading puppeteer extra it will download puppeteer as well i'm not sure though and then let's download puppeteer extra plugin recapture and then does the save and there we go everything is installed so let's go ahead and run this up so we'll do node index.js and a window opened up and as you'll see it doesn't work and i'm not sure if you have that as well but with the new puppeteer version nothing works so let's, let me download npmi puppeteer this is save there we go so download puppeteer as well and then change the version to five point something that solves my issue i'm not sure if we if it will do the same for you and then what you should do is delete package.log package-log and then node modules and then we have to reinstall everything so we'll run mpmi so now let's run the app so we'll do node index.js and it's visiting the website i showed you before so as you will see it's grayed out and that means right now the captcha api the two captcha api is solving a captcha and there we go as you see for a split of second you saw the green mark which means it was solved and then it clicked submit and there we go that's basically it let me know down in the comments if that was helpful and what would you like to see next also if this video was helpful or if you got any value from this video i'll really appreciate if you hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more future videos so yeah see you in the next video bye bye